In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a node for push configurations in DSC. In order to set up a node for push configurations, we need to set up the node's LCM, or Local Configuration Manager. The LCM is what tells the node how to consume and configure DSC configurations. The LCM is what tells the node how to consume and apply DSC configurations. I have provided a link to a Microsoft web page called Configuring the Local Configuration Manager. This page lays out the properties of the LCM which can be set as well as the values available for these properties. For this demo, I will be configuring a small subset of these properties. To get started, we need to create a configuration similar to a regular DSC configuration, except we are going to use the DSC Local Configuration Manager attribute just before our configuration. Here, I'm calling my configuration LCM config, and for a node, I'm going to be using server one. Now we get to our settings. Let me jump over to my other tab to show you the settings that are currently configured for server one. I have already created a sim session. I'm going to use get DSC local configuration manager against that session. I want to draw your attention to the following properties. Configuration mode is set to apply and monitor. Configuration mode frequency minutes is set to 15. Reboot node if needed is set to false. And refresh mode is already set to push. This is the default setting for this property. By default, the LCM is configured in push mode. Now let's go back to the configuration. For refresh mode, I'm going to use the tab key to go through the available options. Disabled means that DSC configurations are disabled and will not run on this node. We can also choose from pull and push modes. For this demo, I'm going to choose push. You can check out my other video on how to configure a node in pull mode. For the configuration mode property, we have a few options as well. Apply and autocorrect, which means DSC will apply the configuration, then run its consistency checks at the interval specified by configuration mode frequency minutes, and if a resource is found to be out of the desired state, DSC will try to correct it by running the configuration against the node again. Apply and monitor, which means that DSC will apply the configuration and run its consistency checks, but this time, if it finds a resource that is out of the desired state, it will not try to correct it. And finally, apply only. With this setting, DSC will apply the configuration, then do nothing more unless a new configuration is pushed to the node or pulled from a service. I'm going to use apply and autocorrect for this node. For configuration mode frequency minutes, the default value is 15. I'm going to bump that up to 30 so that DSC will check the configuration every 30 minutes. And finally, for reboot node if needed, the default value is false, but I'm going to set that to true. This means if any part of the DSC configuration requires a reboot, DSC will reboot the node, then resume its configuration. Now let's go ahead and run this configuration and set the output path to a folder called LCM config. This will create a metamoth file in the LCM config folder which we can use to configure the node. In my video on writing a simple DSC configuration, I use start DSC configuration to push the configuration to the node. In this case, we are going to use set DSC local configuration manager and point it to the path of our metamoth that we just created. Now that that's complete, if I run get DSC local configuration manager against server one again, we can see that it is now set to apply and autocorrect every 30 minutes and reboot if needed is set to true. That is how to set up a node for push configurations in DSC.